What's going on, everybody? Day by day, we're getting there. Today we have, keep it simple, day number four. We are going to be working on some hamstring stuff. Um, so you will still need a jump rope. Um, we're going to be going on with those. And then you need a 20, or I'm using a 20-pound dumbbell that I'm going to be holding overhead. And I'm going to be using a 40-pound dumbbell for my dead shifts. So just a couple different um, weight selections. You can also use kettlebells, things of that nature. Um, have a box on the ready. We're going to be uh, doing some up and over. So hip health, hamstring health, um, we're going to be working on today, combined with, of course, strengthening everything. All right, let's head down to the ground. Hit up that good old child's pose. Always a good way to start a workout, reach those arms way out in front. I feel like I can get some length into my back, my spinal column. You want to reach your hands way far forward, but keep the shoulder blades packed in. <clears throat> Push up to your hands and knees. We'll go three, cat cow. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale and round. When you exhale, really pull that low abdomen in nice and deep. Perfect. Now we go into our downward facing dog. Press into your thumb and first finger. Slide your hips back. Let your right knee bend and then your left. Straighten one and bend the other back and forth. Inhale, lift your right leg up nice and high. And then exhale, bring it forward outside your right hand. Hopefully over time you can get that leg further and further forward. Unless it's already all the way up by your hand. That's as far as it needs to go. All right, left leg up. And then exhale, bring it forward. Oh, use that core, drop into that back right hip. Twist that left arm up. Drag it back down and return. All right, back onto your back. And we're going to hit up those dead bugs. Push your low back into the ground. Slide the shoulder blades in. Extend and bring everything back. Extend everything back. These stay as tough as you make them. So it's really a matter of how much flexion you are able to maintain as you move. Make sure you're not getting all kinked up in the neck. Remember, the lower that the leg goes, the more flexion you have to stay uh, focused on. Two more each side. Drag, flex, tighten, and pull. And 10. All right. Hug those knees in, rock forward, one and two, and then we're going to come all the way up. Okay, into our squats. Set those toes straight ahead, get nice and deep. Trying to keep the chest tall. Three, four, your heels stay on the ground. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, hit up those alternating lunges. When you lunge, see if you can get that back hip flexor to get a nice little stretch. Getting those hips through lots of ranges of motion. Before we get going today, for real, I mean, we're going, but there's seven, eight. Remember, if you're not hitting anything else in a day, hopefully you are. These are only 30-minute sets. Well, a couple minutes over, maybe. Ten. Okay, we're going to our, our uh, spider lunge. You can always at least hit 
these little warm up sets. Add a couple jumping jacks, jump squats to the end, or jump ropes. Get some heart rate going, and at least you got something in. Five minutes is better than no minutes. 10 minutes is better than five. And then you decide from there what's best. Just two per side on those spider lunges. Now we have our push-ups, Superman. And today we'll do tricep dips instead of our wall triceps. All right, here we go. Lock in through that core. Two and one, lower all the way down. Tuck your hips, squeeze those shoulder blades. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Get that back nice and healthy. And one. All right, push up. And we're gonna go into those dips. Here we go. Just 10. Elbows squeeze toward one another. Feel those triceps. Eight, nine, 10. Perfect. Take a seat on the box and sit over those legs. This feels so good on the low back, surprisingly. So if you find yourself sitting, a long time during the day hit a couple of these all right coming up we're gonna hit leg swings forward and back so make sure you have plenty of room 10 on one leg try to get that full swing through I had to catch my balance that first one five six seven, eight nine, ten other side two, three, find that core for balance. Just whatever sort of range your leg likes. 10, now we're gonna go side to side. Two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight. Other side. Four, five, six, nine, ten. Ah! All right. We're going to go over unders. So pretend like you have, I guess we could do a box. I'm going to not worry about it. Pretend that you have a bar, basically, that you have to. Get yourself over and then back under. So we're gonna take our leg up and over the bar, other leg up and over the bar. Then you're gonna squat in, slide under. We're gonna go three one way. We're already one down. Two, up and over, up and over. Squat in, three. Now we'll go to the other side. Here we go, up and over, up and over. Squat in. Sink under. Two. Our garage door. I don't know if you ever have a garage door. You got it. Get back and forth under. Okay, drinking bird to finish us off. Five per side. Think about what's going on with that back leg. Four. Three, lengthen through the upper body. Two, one. Try to keep those hips level. Get that little pull on that hamstring. Push up through the glute. Four and five. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> now we're really going to get going. You're going to hit up the plank. And we're going to do a back pedal with our legs for 30 seconds. 
after we're done with 30 seconds, I'll show you, we are gonna do a bear dog, okay? So either of these, you can stay on your hands and knees. So back pedal, you would pull up, extend out, down, other leg, up, out, down. I'm gonna be going through plank, so bend, pull it in, up, back, down, and up, back, down. 30 seconds, try to hold that plank position. If you can keep your shoulders forward over the wrists or palms, more than likely, you'll be keeping your hips low in line with the shoulders and they won't end up in the air. Okay, from there, no transition time, we're gonna go straight into a bear pose. Hands and knees, curl your toes under, pick your knees up off the ground, and you're gonna extend opposite arm and leg, bring it back. Extend opposite arm and leg, bring it back. A bear dog instead of a bird dog. If you need to, stay on your hands and knees, hit your regular bird dog, and we're gonna go from there. After we have uh, those two sets done, then we're gonna have a little transition time. We're gonna go to dead shifts. So we'll only have 15 seconds. You'll need to grab your heavy dumbbell and we're gonna dead shift side to side for a minute. 15 seconds of transition, we're gonna do donkey kicks. Okay, donkey kicks on the ground. You're gonna bend into those knees, hike your hips as high as you can and kick your heels up overhead. Otherwise, there's a couple different options. You can just kick here, one leg at a time. You can do little hops, your butt's in the air, just little itty bitty hops. You can also stay back on your hands and knees and do alternating donkey kicks this way. All right, you can always pair back however you need. Next up, we're gonna grab our box. It'll be quick transition. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna set your heavy bell on top of the box. Hold your lighter bell overhead, and then you're gonna take your foot up and over, side to side, okay? Getting core, upper back for that hold, and then we're really working into hip mobility on that leg. All right, that's it. We're gonna start off with our back pedal planks. Here we go, plank it up, back pedal, tuck it in, back pedal. You should be feeling that hamstring grab as you push your leg up and back. So the knee does pull in first, kick up and back, eight seconds. <clears throat> Okay, create your bear, and then we're gonna go bear dog. Extend, come back. Lots of core, lots of hamstring, hopefully hip, hamstrings. That's what we're going for today. Hips and hamstrings, three, two, and one. Okay, grab that heavy bell. You're gonna set it inside your left leg. Take your legs nice and wide. Shift or hinge forward. Shift to the left. Pick up the bell with your right hand. Shift over. Pick up with the left. Shift over. So hips stay low. Back stays flat, just shift. Super good for your pelvis, being aware, and getting it to stay neutral to the shoulders. Hopefully you brought your notebook today. You can keep track of your workout. We're transitioning quickly, so just try to keep things in mind what you can write down at the end, what weight selection you used, how you felt, etc. Shift, you should feel those hamstrings and glutes and core. All right, bring that box out or your bench, whatever you have, set your weight in the middle and then get that 20, three, two, and one. <clears throat> Straight up overhead, up and over. 
try to kick it or lift it. I'm sorry. Straight up. Lift the leg straight up. Make sure you're not kicking around. Make adjustments as you need. It's a little bit of a different exercise we haven't done before. <clears throat> Still lots of core. Relax your neck. Of course, you could forget about the weight overhead. Make sure that your leg is strong, supported on your standing side. Your body's going to want to cheat. I was starting to kick out. But then we don't get the hip time <clears throat> moving up and over. Take a low squat. We have 15 seconds. And then we're going to go back into our back pedal plank. Here we go. Up and over. Scan the body. Find the work where you want it. You should be feeling a lot of core here, supporting that pelvis to stay neutral, stay in place. Your glutes, your core, hip flexors, hamstrings. Don't worry, we'll get good hamstring and hip flexor stretch at the end today. Relax your neck. Up and over. Up and over. Keep saying it if you need to. Time. All right. Quick transition. Plank. Back pedal. Three, two, here we go. Plank. Keep that one leg straight and strong. Oh, you guys, we forgot our donkey kicks. Okay, we're going to go into donkey kicks. Go ahead. It's all right. I was like, wait. <clears throat> Lock the core. Back is strong. Twenty seconds to go. <clears throat> Ten. Woo. <clears throat> okay. I'm glad we caught that. I'm sure you are too. Now we get our back pedal plank, 30 seconds. Here we go. Plank, tuck in, kick up, back, in, up, back. Five seconds. Okay, bear dog. Hit that bear. Shoulder up over the wrist. Focus that core. Try to keep your knee barely off the ground so that the shin is parallel. <sighs> Time. Those are hard. Dead shifts. <sighs> Here we go. Toes straight ahead. Shift. Make sure you are not using your other hand 
So a lot of times their elbow, I see a support on the thigh with the opposite arm. Then that takes the work out of the hips, glutes, and core. We are not supporting with our other arm. You can feel what the hips and low back are doing if you place the back of your hand on your low back. So when it's on your right leg, shift to the left hand, pull over left leg, grab with your left hand, pull over. Time. All right. <coughs> grab your box, bring it over. We won't forget our donkey kicks this time. All right, I'm gonna start on my second side. Here we go, up and over. Connect with the body. What is your core doing? What's your leg doing? Pelvis, hips. Push up, push up. Keep it overhead, pack into the back. <laughs> Take your stretch. And then we have our other side. And go. That's 15. Go very fast. Kick it or pull it straight up. No kicking. <clears throat> Lots of core here. Doing great. Keep it up. Feel like your stacked heels or heel, one heel on the ground, hip, shoulder. Trying not to lean. Ten. Oof, okay. Donkey kicks. We got it. And go. Five seconds. <sighs> Take a break. One more round. Four, three, plank, back pedal. Keep it strong.
gosh, feel those hamstrings. All right, bear dog. Lock it in. Perfect. Come on. Push into it. Three, two, one. All right. Dead shift. Here we go. Shift. Slide. You got it. Flex in, notice what's going on. Where's the work coming from? Grab that bell with purpose. Flex into your back, your lat. You should not be rounding the back at all. Try not to come up between sides. Shift. The whole point, shift, shift, two, and one. Oh, all right. Up and overs. And go. Ay, ay, ay. Feel the work. Push into the muscle, support. You have to build through fatigue. We're not in failure, just fatigued and tired. Don't get sloppy oh, as I trip on the top of the bell. I think that a lot though. Where am I getting sloppy? Where's the body starting to cheat? All right, other side. You got it. Make sure you don't start leaning back and the upper body with the hips pushing forward. Keep everything stacked. Time. I swear those donkey kicks are so stinking hard because our shoulders are zonked. That's okay. Here we go. Whatever you got. We're gonna go straight from here into two minutes of jumping rope.
20 seconds to go. Time. Ah. All right. Jump rope. To finish, we have a one minute timer with 15 between. Think about that core. One minute to go. Oh, now one minute to go. Right. Whew. Good work. Okay. We're going to get those hamstrings. So, start with a hip flexor stretch. Hamstrings and hip flexors. Slide in, tuck the hips under just until you get that. Back hip flexor. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Hinge back, get your hamstring. Belly of the hamstring. So find it deep in the big part, not way up in your glute. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it up. Very impressed what we're fitting in. <clears throat> Definitely have fun uh, charting this one today. I can <coughs> add a little to my sweat rating, my intensity rating. Strength probably feels a little low, to be honest. I was challenged, so I didn't feel super strong. I mean, I felt strong. I could do it, but it was very, very tough. And uh, let's see, heart rate, definitely higher. Hinge back, those donkey kicks. 
Those donkey kicks did the trick. And we almost forgot them. That would have been an atrocity. <clears throat> All right, I have to split, but I would recommend getting a pigeon and a couple twists from your back. Maybe stretch those shoulders, thread the needle. Don't forget that it all makes a difference. It all adds up. And chances are if you track it and keep track of what your goals are, focused on goals, make sure you set goals. I have goals and I'm seeing changes and uh, makes me motivated to continue. All right, see you tomorrow.